Hey, this is Mr. Crandall, and we are talking about inferring. Inferring, using your schema and what you read or observe to make a good guess about something. Now, your schema, I always like to think of it like this, what you already know and the way you think. So your prior knowledge and the way that you think. And we're going to build some of our background knowledge and our prior knowledge about an author, Mo Willems. He wrote the Pigeon Books and the Elephant and Piggy Books. So stay tuned as we try to figure out some more and learn some more about Mo Willems. How to be an author. What kinds of books do you like best? Funny ones? Scary ones? Exciting ones? Every book started as an idea in an author's brain. Whether it's a story about a princess, a book about sharks, or a cookbook with recipes, authors use the writing process. First, authors brainstorm. They come up with ideas. Then they plan what they will write. Many authors get ideas from making observations. Jan Brett draws and writes about animals. She traveled to the rainforest to learn about the animals that live there for her book, The Umbrella. Other authors get ideas from their dreams. Walter Dean Myers says that sometimes he dreams about people he knows. Often, he turns them into characters in his books. Once an author has an idea, it's time to write. This step of the writing process is called drafting. Dr. Seuss would write and draw for hours every single day. He even worked on weekends. After an author finishes a draft, it's time to edit. In this step, an author makes changes to the words and drawings. Dr. Seuss used to write his first draft then he would cross out words and erase drawings he didn't like. Author Tommy DePaola writes at least three drafts of a story before he gets one he likes. He's not afraid to start over if he needs to. He says, my most important tool is my eraser. After an author has edited his or her work, it's time to publish. Book companies print thousands of copies of authors' books so that people everywhere can read them. You don't have to be a famous author to get your writing published. You can write it up and put your book together yourself. Tommy DePaola did this before he was famous. When he was a boy, he used his mother's sewing machine to sew together his first book. Anyone can be a writer. The first thing you have to do is come up with an idea. Where will your idea come from? Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Crandall. I'm going to be reading a scholastic news to you today. This is from uh, January 2014, and the purpose of this is to find out a little bit more about Mo Willems. We're going to be using this to build our background knowledge about an author and illustrator named Mo Willems. Down here it says, From the Mind of Mo. Piggy, do you know Mo? Mo? Who's that? The guy who draws us. Someone draws us? That's silly. Mo makes a book. Mo has written more than 40 books for kids. How does he do it? Mo says he grows ideas for books. He doodles. He writes. He talks with friends. He takes walks. Over time, an idea for a story grows. Then, Mo writes and draws his story. He revises as he goes. That means he makes changes. Don't be afraid to use your eraser, he says. It takes a lot of work to get a book the way he wants it. I want to see what doodles means. Doodle. When you doodle, you draw without having a final drawing in mind. You're just having fun and using your imagination. Oh, cool. 
and let's see what revises means. Revise. To change or correct something. Writers revise what they have written to make it better. Now let's look down here. It says Mo at work, step by step. Step one, he grows an idea. Mo doodles. He talks with friends. He goes for walks. Step two, he sketches the story. He makes rough drawings. He plans out the pages. Step three, he makes final drawings. He uses a charcoal pencil. Step four, he colors the characters. He scans the art into his computer. He colors it in. Step five, he talks to his editor. They talk about the book. They make final changes. The book gets printed. I want to see what sketches and charcoal mean. Sketches makes rough drawings. Many artists sketch before they make a final drawing. Hmm. And let's see charcoal. Charcoal. Charcoal is black and chalky. It is made of burned wood. Some drawing pencils are made of charcoal. And editor. Editor. Someone who checks a piece of writing and helps to revise it before it is printed. So now, I feel like we know a little bit more about Mo Willems and his process for writing books, and I think this is going to help us later. Thanks.